So the question is, when octane is burned in air, it chemically reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So what mass of water is produced by the reaction of four and a half gram, four point, sorry, 5.4 grams of oxygen gas? So this is a classic kind of a combustion problem. So we have octane, so we've got C8, H18, and this is reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So in order to first do this, we've got to balance the equation. So I go left and right, and we balance carbon first, and then we balance hydrogen, then we balance oxygen. So on the left side, we have carbon, so we got eight carbons. On the right side, we're going to have to have eight carbons, so we'll put an eight here. And then we'll do hydrogen. So on the left side, we have 18 hydrogens. So on the right side, we're going to have 18 hydrogens, so we're going to need a nine right there. So 18. And then this is the trick that I like to use. So we'll have, we got to count up the oxygens. On the right side, we got 16 plus nine. So that gives us 25 on the right. And since oxygen's diatomic, we're going to do this little trick. So we got 25 divided by two. So that's how many oxygens we have. So if we wanted to, we could double everything, but I'm going to just kind of leave it how it is. So we'll go ahead and race this. So we have our balance equation up here. And now what we want to do is, so the second part of the equation says what mass of water is produced by the reaction of 5.4 grams of oxygen gas. So we know we have 5.4 grams of oxygen. And in order to compare things, we're going to have to convert stuff into moles. So we're going to go down here and use some dimensional analysis. So we got 5.4 grams of oxygen. And then we're going to have to find the molar mass. So if you go to the periodic table, oxygen weighs approximately 16 grams per mole, but this is diatomic. So we have two oxygens, so 16 plus 16 is 32. So we got 32 grams of O2 in one mole of O2. So that's how, how we find how many moles of oxygen we have. So we take 5.4 divided by 32, and so we'll get 0. 16875 moles of oxygen. So now that we have moles of oxygen, we can compare that to other things based on our stoichiometric coefficients. So that's what these are called. They're called stoichiometric coefficients. So what mass of water is produced by the reaction of 5.4? So we have this amount of moles of oxygen, and we want to know how many, what mass of water we have. So we got to first find moles. So then we go into another a second part. So we got another dimensional analysis problem. So 6.875. So we got moles of oxygen. And then this is where we use our stoichiometric coefficients we just found. So we take 25.25 over 2 moles of oxygen, and that will give us 9 moles of water. And then it's asking for mass. So we go ahead and convert moles into mass. So we got one mole of water is equal to about 18 grams of water. So we got 16, 17, 18. So two hydrogens equal one. So that's about 18. And then we'll plug this into the calculator. So we multiply everything on the top, 0 0.16875 times 9 times 18. And then we divide by everything on the bottom. So we divide by 25 over 2. And if we wanted to rotate this, we could actually divide by 25 and multiply by 2. So we got 0 0.168 times 9 times 18 times 2 divided by 25. So we get the amount of water produced is 2.187 grams of water. And then we want to, where you start with two sig figs, that means we end with two sig figs. So this would be 2.2 grams of water is produced by 5.4 grams of oxygen gas.